Today, there are about 2,500 museums in the UK, but only one dedicated to queer culture. It should have been here years ago. Queer stories have always been written in the margins of books. Although they are becoming better known, there is no doubt that there is still a long way to go. The Queer Britain Museum is the first museum in the UK to showcase queer people, but it's not just for them, it's for everyone. In terms of who this museum caters for, we call ourselves the National LGBTQ Plus Museum for all. And that is um, regardless of sexuality, gender identity, sexual orientation, gender expression, and most importantly that also includes our heterosexual cisgendered counterparts who are every bit a part of our family and um, networks as uh, anybody else on the LGBTQ plus spectrum. It all started 10 years ago when Ian Mertes and Jose Galeano met, following the 50th anniversary of the partial discrimination of homosexuality in the UK, which was widely commemorated. Joe and I met Joe, the director and the other co-founder, 10 years ago, maybe. Um, and about five or six years ago, Joe was in my office. I used to work at uh, London South Bank University and we were just catching up a general chit chat and he said look I've had this crazy idea what do you think um, and he said I think we should set up a museum a queer museum and my first reaction was well there must be one somewhere there uh, isn't there one somewhere and he said no it's mad there isn't the aim of this museum is to normalize and raise awareness of the queer world which has had such a hard time throughout history. For this reason, it is a museum aid at absolutely everyone, regardless of their sexual orientation and economic situation, as it is free of charge. It's a museum for everyone. It's not just a museum for queer people. And to be honest with you, if, if it is only a museum for queer people, then we failed because this is about reaching out to everyone Inside the queer region, we can find images that represent not only the queer world, but ultimately all of us. For example, as they have done with one of their collections called Chosen Families. So these photographs are from our first year of partnership, Levi's. They're called the Chosen Family um, Exhibition. And um, we briefed four queer photographers to kind of talk to us or tell us or uh, show us how they perceived the Chosen Family, uh, what they thought the Chosen Family was. Um, so we have four different photographers. They're just marvellous, powerful depictions of what Chosen Family means to people. Um, this one at the end here is from one of our trustees, Robert Taylor, and he, um, there's a couple more photographs in the other gallery from him, and it's just wonderful that he's included, but also that he kind of has shown us how he perceives and what he thinks the Chosen Family uh, means to him. As we have seen, this museum, which represents queerness, is aimed at everyone. As Ian has said, the general topic of it is being seen and queerness representation. No one is left out here. To test this, we spoke to a member of the collective to find out what she thought of the museum. Sort of like more of a, a political and ideological term rather than a label. It was a perfect size, you need to get around it in like 10 minutes and it's, it's like a really good space. So I was really impressed. I loved a lot of like the smaller rooms with the really, you felt it quite, it, it felt quite intimate, you know, with the art. You felt that like you were right, like in the art. And um, it was, I really loved it. I think it was really cool. It's astonishing what a museum can mean to someone. Let's see in more detail what the CEO and co-founder Josu Galeano has to say about this. So in terms of um, this space here, we think of this very much as an incubation space. This is um, our opportunity to build the team, to engage with the public, to start doing public programming, um, get, get experience of like running a space, a museum space. Five or six years time, um, we are working towards a permanent, permanent home, bricks and mortar home, which again, most likely will be in London, certainly that's where the, where we're exploring at the moment. Um, and we'll be somewhere sort of four or five times on the, by order of magnitude, this sort of space. So, you know, we want it to really be um, a decent sized space that will have auditorium, temporary exhibition space, as well as some permanent exhibition space and your cafe and your gift shop.
And also, there's just too many stories that haven't been told or that have been under-told. There are so many different types of people and identities and stories that haven't been told under each of those labels under the, the LGBTQ+, plus, 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 plus moniker. That we need to create a space where all of those people can at some point feel like they have been invested in um, by what we choose to do. It's just more interesting to have different voices and different backgrounds involved. We, we have different sets of, different types of identities represented. Now, obviously, you know, we're not doing a tick box exercise, so it's not like, you know, we haven't got one of them or we haven't got one of them. It's more like just how can we overall give a sense that inclusion is an important, um, important thing for us. There is one idea that I really love um, that one of our partners suggested to us, which we're using a lot now, which is the idea that most people go to museums to see the museum. But for Queer Britain, we want people to come here to be seen. So like you look at things like um, Paul Harfleet's Cock of the Rock drawing here. Um, and in fact, the Sadie Lee's David Hoyle painting. And um, these were both winners in, our award, in an award that we did f um, on the theme of queer creativity. And to then be able to kind of create things that are unique for us to sell here, that are also things, that, I mean, where else are you going to find a print of David Hoyle? You know, just where else are you going to find that? Although there is only one, it clearly means a lot to people. Queerness is steeped in history. Hundreds of queer people's stories have been sidelined and many of them have been forgotten. This museum has given all of them space to be preserved, explored and celebrated. And hopefully this paves the way for more museums in the future.